This is Bottle Buds, and that we're in Washington State. He's loaded. That was a flex. <laughs> <laughs> was a Son flex. of a bitch. We don't have wine keys. We have right Dexter's. Oh, this is a great... I hate that that cork is going in there. I mean, we didn't even try the corkscrew this time. Yeah, we didn't. Like, we very easily could have tried it. God bless it. The w- All right. <laughs> the wine is open. It tastes, it doesn't taste bad. <laughs> what? It's a murder scene. <laughs> we're going to cut really quick. <laughs> we're no, we're not. No cut. We can't cut. cut. There's no cut. We, we got to take towels. a break. I got fucking wine all over Just keep me. rolling. Oh, we got to <laughs> clean this up. Clean this <laughs> shit up. <laughs> we need to- Jesus Christ. <laughs> you knew that was going to happen. Did I know that that was going to happen? Yes. What it the ha- fuck was that? <laughs> it happened over there 25 minutes ago. He didn't, <laughs> well, it was behind him. He didn't see it. <laughs> No See what's No, we need paper <laughs> a lot. We need a lot of paper. Once towels. he goes, he goes. Holy we shit! On hay rides. Drink? No, we were too young for that. So we would stuff the mailboxes full of hay. <laughs> Where are you doing hay bale rides? Where you were going past I mailboxes? I grew up in the thumb, man. <laughs> right, but you you do a hay, hay bale ride through a field or like no, we just an down orchard road. or just down the road. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe you never did a hay ride. I have a, through like a field. on hay fields on or fields. orchards yeah. or I've done hay bale rides down down the roads down the road yeah put some hay in a mailbox hmm. you look like you pissed yourself it's just wine it's expensive wine apparently it's nice. all right we got some from Walla Spokane Walla Walla yeah. yeah it's not called Spokane Drunk. sorry I'll tell you what <laughs> tell happened me what? to me. What happened to when you? When I was going to get this, we made an emergency landing in Billings. Oh, that, that this is this trip. This is that trip. Oh, okay, okay. This smells so wonderful. Yeah, this is a Buzzsaw McThunder Juicy IPA. This is no- <laughs> Wait, so this is amazing. One more time. Let me see that. I just read that. Buzzsaw, Buzzsaw McThunder Juicy IPA. Buzzsaw McThunder Juicy IPA, and the goat has its tongue out. And Saturday night, night, hey, Saturday Night Live, the ambiguously gay duo. It's your it's goat a, to it's beer. It's definitely a combination of that and Mr. Science Theater 3000. At the top, it's your goat to beer. <laughs> Zing! It. Your go-to beer. Oh, goat to beer. Uh, that's awesome. He's a little simple. It's interesting. Iron Goat Brewing Company, yeah. Spokane, Washington. Okay. I think it's and this really nice. You know, there's a lot of questionable change. stuff going on in Washington State, but I don't think most of the state needs to answer for that. The I vegans think... would be pissed about this. Look at how that goat is chained I don't to the rocket. That... Oh, it's good. juicy, so they're not calling it's it a, a ju- hazy. Yeah, it's a juicy. Okay. Yep. I was going to say, because it's not hazy. Mm. It's so juicy. Usually, yes. juicy and hazy are kind of interchangeable. So I think I would just call this an IPA. No, I don't think it's an IPA. Well, I wouldn't call it an IPA. I, don't know. I mean, I it's it's awfully I mean, it's clear to be IPA. a juicy though. Like or you know that like you were saying that juicy yeah. hazy category. It's awfully clear for that. Let's I talk. get why you would it's call it a juicy. Wet. It's way too wet. To this not is be a, a super beer. wet beer. <laughs> this is super wet beer. It's very moist. Oh, it's definitely moist. Someday when we have moist. breakfast, we'll have a little scale. <laughs> We'll do like a wetness. the moist meter. Like no, wetness. that's definitely already been used. Yeah, has it? The moist meter. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Like porn. This is a great beer. Tell your story, dude. <clears throat> okay, so we're flying from Minneapolis to Pasco, Washington, and we're like I don't know, maybe an hour, hour and a half into this flight, and I'm in first class, right? I'm having a good time mm. watching a movie. A couple. We can't just things. fucking skim over first class. Listen, when you fly as much as I do... Ooh! Delta miles. All day long. I wasn't going to do any corporate names. But, <laughs> anyway, so I'm hanging out. All of a sudden, stewardess, bam, on the ground. Falls. Right? And I'm in first class. I'm like three rows from the front. And she's like in the stewardess area in the galley. She goes down. And like... 
the people in the front row are like kind of like whisper yelling like they don't really know what's going on but they're like yelling at the same time like oh my god she just she's faded what do we do the best whisper yell (laughs) well like you you're whisper yelling but you're trying not to freak everybody out right so like nobody knows what to do okay now i'm not gonna get my peanuts i'm sitting i'm sitting there i'm like thinking like okay that just happened to her is it about to happen to the rest of us? <laughs> like that's immediately. Why would you think I, that? Uh, <laughs> hey, terrorists dropped something it's, in everybody in the yeah, air. It's post nine eleven world. Yeah. So I'm like thinking. Twenty twenty. Like, it's been nineteen years. Twenty twenty. Oh, listen, decades. Dan. Yeah, I'll never I'll forget. It. We don't want to do math on the no. anyway, show. Never forget. <sighs> so the last two years. Everybody's kind of like coming around to the fact that the lead stewardess just fainted. And she's not getting back up. Did she faint though, or did she bang her head off the ground she when fucking she fell? Fainted like, and hit the ground, and in when you're in flight, the whole plane you can feel thuds. Okay. Oh my god, dude. So Those front row I just realized, and plane. I'm like, I'm like looking, I'm like looking around the the seat in front of me, and I'm like, oh god, wild. That just happened. So then everybody's just start. <laughs> it's so dumb. Everybody in first class like waving. Waving to the back flight attendant. Yeah. Like, just waving. Like, they don't want to disturb everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. Again, hey, whisper yelling. In the back. You in the I take way. it as they back don't want to do you, anything Could you let else. us know? Yeah. Could you let the back stewardess know that the fucking front stewardess just fucking fainted? It's an inconvenience to us in first class. Well, yeah. Okay. God forbid so we have like, to get up and I'm like, actually walk we're to the having back. A fucking <laughs> the poor people. We don't want to walk past okay, the goddamn <laughs> fucking <laughs> poor <laughs> people <laughs> to let the stewardess know that the other stewardess has fainted. Oh, my God. So we're going to wave instead. So I'm looking at this, I'm looking at all these people waving, and I just start mashing the call button. I'm <laughs> like, bing, help. We bing, need another bing, bing, up bing, here. bing. As if and the then, call doesn't go to the stewardess station well, where so she goes, has. So I'm okay. Were you there? Because <laughs> I'll, I'll there. let you. <laughs> so I'm looking back and I'm mashing this call button. Okay, the stewardess finally looks up from her book, and then she sees everybody waving. And she like gets up, she walks up, and then everybody's like, uh, yeah. The stewardess fucking fainted. She's like, holy shit. The stewardess is fainted. So then the whole thing is just like the movies. Is there a doctor on board? And they take care of this girl. There's a anyway, podiatrist that comes up. <laughs> <laughs> a dentist. <laughs> I'm a doctor. Yeah, I think she's And then got... everybody in first class is like, mm, are you? <laughs> I'm a chiropractor. I can take care of it. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so... <laughs> Meanwhile, we're laughing now, but this is terrifying. I'm sure. We're in the I'm middle sure. of a three-hour flight, okay? This is all happening, and I, like, look out the window, and there's nothing. There is nothing. I mean, it's not even... It's not even nothing. There's just... I can't even tell you how nothing <laughs> how looks. Nothing. I can't even distinguish what part of the country we're over. It's like the never-ending story. <laughs> <laughs> the nothing is coming. So at this point, protocol takes over and they take care of this girl. There happens to be three doctors on board. Oh, oh wow! Do a great job and a uh, off-duty stewardess. And we end up making a, we end up making an emergency landing in Billings, Montana. I don't know if you've ever been to Billings, Montana. Nope. There's not a lot going on <laughs> at ten o'clock at night at the Billings, Montana airport. I'm surprised the airport was big enough for you guys to even land there. To be honest, well, there was an Allegiant flight leaving oh, as okay. we landed. <laughs> In so. a Spirit Airlines flight on the way to Cancun. <laughs> yes. Direct <laughs> flights from Billings to Cancun. You hear it, heard it here first. Um, anyway, we make this emergency landing, and we land at 9.30, 10 o'clock. Don't get to the hotel until, like, 12.31. Oh. And then Delta's like, just come back tomorrow. Just come back tomorrow? I think there will be a flight for you. <laughs> There's nothing, like, nothing gets pushed through the app. Nothing like nobody says, you know, here's your confirmation. Leave your luggage if you can, because then we won't have to recheck it. So hey, we show up because you trust the, the airlines with your luggage at this point. We ended up making it to Pasco, but one guy. That's the. Wow. But the morning. Talk about the morning, though. 
You told me about the morning. Oh, the morning. So we get up. The morning is like, the best part of the whole story. They're, they're like, you have to be back at seven. <laughs> like you have to be back at seven. And so we're like, okay, but that's just like the, the co-pilot is telling us that as they're getting on the plane to fly away. <laughs> hey, see you guys, but you gotta be here. At <laughs> He's seven. back at seven. <laughs> we're gonna be here. We're gonna be here. Um. So we show back up, and then like I, nothing's like. <laughs> We show up to the ticket counter and they've got like a Manila, Manila, a Manila like a yellow legal pad yeah. with our names on them, and they're like checking us off. Yeah, oh, we're wow. not, and we're not going to take like, your baggage the, or nothing. You guys are good. You're going to that place. One of the, one of the, I hope you get your baggage at the other end <laughs> that you one fucking the, left here through. yesterday. No, halfway through they just stop checking because they're tired of checking. Yeah. It's one of those lists. <laughs> You know? okay, great. So then they're like, just go to security. <laughs> yeah. And we go to security, and all the people I'm traveling with, we're all TSA pre-check. So we walk up to the TSA pre-check line, and mm. security's like, uh, we don't really have anything to verify that you're TSA pre-check, but you're probably TSA pre-check, so we'll just let you leave just your shoes you on. The benefits of TSA pre-check. You yeah. leave right. your shoes on. So we get back in there, and it's like, it's just all these people that we recognize from the night before. And somehow we have this camaraderie, right? So everybody's buying each other coffee. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, it's at this point, you know, nobody knows when the plane is coming. So we're just sitting there. And they're like asking Delta people, when is our plane coming? We don't know. What do you mean, when's your plane coming? When did you get here? Uh, we were the fucking emergency landing. Isn't it on the front page of the news here? <laughs> So we, they tell us to show up to the airport, and then, like, we don't leave until 10.30 in the morning. So we're just waiting. And then somebody, like, gets a little indication from their app that, like, your flight is on your way. And you're like, I guess they're going to land. And then wow. we get picked up, and then we finish <laughs> the flight. And, every, like, at that point, like, nobody's like, hey, sorry. Sorry it took so long. We suck. You know, like, nothing. 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 People like, in first class really need to be, like, massaged right. through that whole process. I'm sure They're in first it. class. Yeah. you got to take care of them. Well, I was going to say, the rest of the people on the plane probably people. spent the night at the airport. You know, yeah. They weren't even at a hotel. They just stayed there. <laughs> you only got, like, the Ramada Lodge. Right. You know? No, it's yeah. so sad. I felt really bad. Poor Dylan. They, I would have been the, like, in the chair in the corner. <laughs> Everybody has <laughs> to snake around the armrest that they don't like, like lift look, on the chair. That fluorescent light is out. I'm going to sleep over there. Everybody everybody in Billings, Montana lives, you know, 40 miles away, right? So they found one one gal to come back to the airport to take care of us because the flight crew is helpless unless it's like yeah. landing a plane with autopilot. So they're like, yeah, we can't do anything outside this plane. Like we have to get we have to get a ground crew, so yeah. they find one gal to sh- to show back up. She probably put off feeding her horses, yeah, you, about you know, yeah. right? And so she has to completely unload the plane. She has to like get everybody situated inside the airport, and then after that, she has Should've to get got her name. luggage. Oh wow! And then after that, anybody who doesn't know how to use the Hilton app on their phone. She has to help them book a hotel room for the night. Wow. So, like, we landed at 9 30, 10 o'clock, and we didn't get to the hotel until 12 31. So, that's a scenario where it's like tips, tips for her. Like, good job. I mean, it sounds like she was a, a solid, a solid employee. Well, there's like, yeah, no kidding. On this plane, so. I mean, that's, yeah, that, that'd be a lot. And if one person. Delta, if you're listening. Was I'd be the guy to be like, "Hey, shut your mouth." Well, I was getting close at like. <laughs> you were gonna be a twat. No, I wasn't going to. To, to like, like twelve forty. Roberta, who showed up for fucking forty miles away to unload the plane. Twelve fifteen rolls around, and I like I know my my luggage is probably just on the other side of that <laughs> like, fence. I'll just fucking grab just it. Just let me through. Let me through. <laughs> That's a good story. I mean, that's that's pretty interesting. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. And that was, was, and that was, if you're watching, (laughs) get a hold of us because Buzzsaw. I mean, she did a great job. Thunder juicy IPA.